Welcome YouTube Collector, this is Anubi009 and today I present you from Transformer The Last Night Premiere Edition Leader Class Megatron and before we review this uh, video I got to need to say thanks to my good friend Joe he let me borrow his toy for this video and I appreciate him to let me review his little class Megatron from the last night thank you very much Joe it is not for him this video it cannot be done that's mean thanks a lot and I give you a thumbs up thank you and let go and review this guy um this is the little class from transformer the last night again uh they had the same uh premiere edition logo over in the top very nice box and you can see over here megatron in the corner they say uh megatron over there over here in the side of the box they say transformers and the other side of the box the same thing transformers in the other side of the box you can see a nice image of the new megatron they are really like it. Look very cool. The Septicon logo over there. In the top of the packaging, nothing. In the bottom of the packaging, where you see the barcode and the official Transformer logo over here. And for the back of the packaging, you can see Megatron in his um, robot mode and vehicle mode and I'm telling you he look really really cool and over here you can see this is the uh, little class Optimus Prime okay still seeing the same mold of the Age of Extinction, that's mean not too much different. But today we're going to the Megatron because I think this new mold look really really cool. And let go and open him and see how cool he look okay there we go and this is Megatron in his vehicle mode and from here to now I having a microphone I just bought it um, a couple of months ago but I never tried and today I trying to set up better my video space area that's mean I have my microphone more closer I hope so uh, this microphone make the audio better I let go and check it out him and uh, the first thing is he look amazing the way this time they make him and you see you can store his uh, X over here let me show it to you they had this uh, peg go right there very nice and yes he's freaking cool you can see it over here really nice I think he still have that yellow monster around <laughs> yeah 
Uh, at first I think it may possible it's gold or copper, but I think it's still that yellow monster. And you see over here they have a cyber tuning encryptions and this one is no um, what I call it graph graphs uh, it's not the calls it's it's embedded it's, it's, it's there just paint it over but it's there you know that's very cool I like that and they have ones in the wings too there you go really really cool very nice it's a combination of uh, kind of like a little bit dark gray with the yellow mustard. <laughs> the carpet is uh, kind of like a red or orange. And over here is kind of like a gray color and I think this is silver. Very cool. But overall I like it a lot. This is the thrusters in the back. Very cool, the bottom, very nice, oops, I must go to hit the camera, and yes, the bottom have the rubber junk, <laughs> yeah, but, really cool, inclusive, you see over here, this is something very cool, let me see if I can illuminate that, there we go, you see that, it's a peg over there, and I'm thinking, I wonder if you can put him like in a stand and, and leave it like this because he's awesome. And yeah, he have a landing gear over here. You see, there's landing gear, you can put it. <coughs> Oops, sorry, I put it the wrong way. You can put it up and down to do in a moment uh, the cool thing is the cockpit open there you go very very cool interior very nice have a quite a little bit details inside very cool and if you put this bottom over here the front open, the nose open, and you can deploy the plasma cannon. Very cool. And over here they have like a little kind of like a laser guns. Right there. Very cool. When I have mine and think about to paint this one like silver very easy to paint because they pop from there and when you have the laser cannon and maybe possible this one I can, I can paint it like a, like a gray or, or um, what I call it um, no stainless steel but I can paint it like a, like a gun metal gun metal the whole area here then it got to look cool so then what you need to do is to push it back you see that's level get up and you see these little dents over here they're going inside this groove and this peg going in inside peg right there and the only thing you need to do is to close it like this and push it over here there we go. The only problem is when you transform him, he this area always open. Yeah, and if you see the review of MGO, um, he had the same problem like my uh, friends Joe Little Class have. And I bet you if I get mine, I got to have the same problem but i think my friends joe's up oh, there you go you see with a couple of taps he opened let me wish this one is more spring no it's still more solid 
you know. But it's okay. Still cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like as you have. It's like a he can hover and and use that one like a, some kind of extra weapon. And what the cannons over here? It can be like a short shooting. Now, one cool thing this one have is they come with this kind of like a orange flame. And what you need to do is you see this hole over here you just put it like this to into a line make sure the Megatron is all pegged <laughs> it's a little bit tricky transformation in jet mode Let's see if I can now oh, come on don't do this Give me a second. <coughs> you don't want to cooperate. Ah, this this size more tight. And you see him now he can he can fly and they had those flames in the back let's see if I can put the camera a little bit more farther but yeah this is very cool you know you can look at his flying that's very cool that's, that's a very neat gimmick yeah, that's why I say, it, it, with that peg over here, man, you can you can put it like this in display and make it look like he's flying. I'm sorry to everything be very close, but I still using my iPhone to record uh, these videos, and the iPhone have no the ability to make everything too close. I'm sorry, especially this guy is too big. Yeah, but yeah, it's very cool. And you can use the same gimmick in the front of him, but I got to show you that when I transform him in robot mode. Put it over here. But first, we got to make some comparison. And very logically, the best comparison I can make for him is with the Voyager class. Yeah, same thing. The only difference, you know, had the yellow monster in the wings and this one is still very good i like him but this one look very cool he look massive you know this one is still neat i don't like too much the cockpit, cockpit, uh, cockpit paint over here sorry <coughs> i hope that don't sound too bad <laughs> and let me show you this sword for him very close over here the sword is the same I think this color yeah it's the same color the only difference is this one had like a gun metal over here in this area and this one done but yeah very cool 8031 uh, Ace of Extinction uh, Optimus Prime. I think it look, look really good. And I got to put it close to 
Ace of Extinction Crosshairs from uh, Auto Balls Unite 5 pack. And yeah, that's that's I think that's that's a good that's a good size. Jeez. That's cool. All right, let go and transform him in robot mode. And first thing we got to transform the legs. You no, know, you can see so over here. Oh yeah, first the landing gear. Put it in. There you go. And now we can detach these wings. This is quite an easy part to detach. See um, this peg and this one go in this tab and this tab over here. And it's a little bit tricky. Now you take in the wings over here detach this see well you had that one like that move this wing like that there you go take all this part put it like this put the wing back like that and take this one you don't want to cooperate. Wait a second. <coughs> Come on. See if I can fix. Oh, yeah. I forget. I need to turn it like this. No way. They could be more like that. There you go. Do the same thing on the other side. One tab. Move it like that. Detach from here. Just so like this. Move this whole section like that. Now it's more easy. Move this one like this. Take this whole wing. Swing it. Need to move this on a little bit. There we go. And there you go. That way you have and put this like that. You mostly have the the backpack already enclosed. It's like uh, Batman wings. <laughs> okay, now this one is like a double hinge over there. Just move it up and you see, let's see if I can zoom it in. There you go. You see these connections over here? They peg in this area over here. Let's see the light. See, there you go in these two areas over here. Okay. Let me move this one a little bit more further. At least for the moment stay in the way. Let me leave it like this. Okay. Remember when you put this all together it's kind of like a combination of holding everything and at the end you need to keep him squishing and pushing because they had this little tab over here see and you're supposed to connect it inside here but the problem is when you're trying to put the wings everything kind of got it it don't peg like solid that's when you need to kind of like hold that at the same time move the wings and sometimes it's tricky very tricky let me move this one 
There you go. Do it like that. Let me disconnect the head. And the head, you see this connection here? You go. Oh. <coughs> the delays don't help. Come on. There we go. There you go. Go right here close to the to the peg ah, there you go right there when you push it down they connect there you got to hit a click very close to the peg hole over there okay now we're keeping eh, you can put the head there you go you can put the head like that there you go Oh, very cool. I always have it with the mask close. Yeah, move this the fins. That now the leg. I need to do with this. I can show nothing it's in the way. Now this is the legs. The legs when they transform you see all this area detach that's mean what you need to do is to attach it again like that just move the leg like this take this put it inside there you go close this there you go this is one of the foot do the same thing on the other side just Attach it. There you go. Sometimes when you transform it back to to robot mode, he attached by himself. But sometimes he don't. Make sure. There we go. Make sure it's connected properly. More like this. And then take the intakes. Like this. Now we're making the heel. Your toe and close this little. Uh, little wings there you go and you had well and this happens sometimes <coughs> make sure there we go make sure this is connected properly and sometimes by accident you grab it like this in the leg that could be happening okay let go and put this one a little bit more up that way I can show you the arms and you see <laughs> he he open again it's something it got to keep happen it's nothing you can do too much okay now we have that one resolved now we just need to detach this part Let's see if I can detach it <laughs> and this happened oh my goodness not again oh well <laughs> I, I fixed this one <laughs> later oh my goodness okay <laughs> Oh, that's happened. That's happened. Yeah, that part is supposed to move like that. Oh, <laughs> but <laughs> nah, don't worry. It's not broken. I told you, he's it's not too easy. It's not too easy. Now separate this part. Well, this now. Okay, there you go. Whatever the nose cone, one. Separate this. You see this peg go inside here. Inside here. Okay. And now you can detach this. You see this connection go in this peg over here. So 
change the pin for the arm completely and this whole section go in this connection that's mean you can hear like a slight click okay this, this is one of the arm spread a little bit take the fist the fist there you go there you go okay there you go now you're taking this one detach move yeah that one was more soft okay now for this area <coughs> just detach okay you see this section over here the peg with this peg over here this means now move this one like that that way you can use your finger and push the fist there you go now just taking this one like this like that take it all like that and that way you can put and this one open again ah start open mm. there you go now you can take all this section now and push in and you hear that click the megatron hot chest part and you see this areas here you see this peg over here the same peg you're using for the arms it could be used for him yes probably it'll be yeah, to kind of come move it up yes put it in so it is down there you go there you go also this one just put it like that in the back and put Meg in a better position let me move the camera okay there you go and we have Megatron in his robot mode and give me a second and i got to fix that arm that have take it out okay i already fixed uh that little part in his arm let me show to you what happened uh you see this go like that and let it close over there but for some reason or they stuck or something uh, this thing is still new as me most of his articulations are still tight and that's happened but yeah when you have it like that after you detach and put the arms and everything you close this one like this and there you go that call it that that space over there <laughs> Let's go and check his face. Um, let me make this one slightly. There you go. There you go. Let me up. Get more closer. Here we go. Ah, the way I want to look at. Ah, there we go. Very nice red eyes. They still had that yellow mustard. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You tell me, oh, that's kind of like a gold or yellow mustard because I don't know. Uh, he had the mask on. It's really cool. The only I do not like too much of this gimmick. Oh, I forgot to put it a little bit more down. Is it had this level right here I do like push it down it 
Did I go? Push it down. Oh, man. It's tricky. Now we have to reveal his face. The eyes are also on. The mouth is kind of a... I'm hungry. But wow. It looks really cool. Really, really nice details. Very cool. To put the mask up again. And that's the part I don't like it. Yeah. See this level? You need to kind of cut. Ah, rise it up back. See, that way his mask go up again. Like a Darth Vader. <laughs> and these little things go like that. Ego. But yeah, very nice. I still like it. Over here in the chest, see they have a Decepticon logo over here. Very cool. That kind of uh, copper or something like that. This yellow monster again. <laughs> I don't know. Over here they look like a yellow monster. In my eyes, look like a. Uh, like kind of like gold or something like that but yeah still very very nice oh my goodness I, I like this this guy they had two different arms but very gothic warrior you know see they still ah, no no pain come on that's something I need to show in a moment hey, again man don't do that don't, 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 don't open. Very cool. Very, very nice. And the color still over there. Yeah, he had the Hello, Hello Syndrome over here. But, eh, what you can do. <laughs> very, very cool. Very, very, very nice. You know, very cool. Let me show the other arm. Very, I like it. It looks really, really cool. I like it. This one have more hollow area over there. <laughs> I know. But hey, very, very cool. Oops, sorry. Very, very nice. It's a combination of different colors. I like it. I like it. I think they painted quite cool. And this, there you go, very cool, very, very, very nice. Uh, the back, well, old paneling, <laughs> but hey, it's still, still nice, still very, very nice. Now, let me show you the gimmick. Um, this one can be used like a, some kind of shield or do the same thing you do in gel mode. Press this button over here and this is the can. Very cool. This means he had the cannon already. See? You can put the axe in the back. See those two holes over there? You can use the same peg over here and just peg it and make it a little bit side like that. There you go. In that, that way, you see part of the axe sword over here and a little bit of the handle over there and look really, really cool. And you can put his axe in the hand. Just 
need to let's see there you go they can hold the axe and put this one there we go there you go can hold the axe ready for combat there you go very cool the only problem is you see to put some kind of dynamic pose you need to kind of uh, Thing it is, there you go. Now, what you can put in some kind of dynamic pose. <coughs> See if I can put in some kind of cool, cool pose. Let's see. Yeah, because the way they're making it, there you go. The one you can just put it like this and make use the you can put him in that kind of pose you want, you know, very, very cool. I like it. Um, other gimmicks you can do with this is uh let me put this one back there you go. you have it like this you can put one of this kind of like a flame it had that all over there just take it pick it yep like in the movie you can put it like this or like a the fire is ready! We got made barbecue! Yeah. Yeah, playing with my toys again. <laughs> you know. <laughs> play moon! Play moon! He's ready for the barbecue! Hey, Optimus! The green could be ready in a moment! We got maybe, I don't know, Cybertronian. Uh. Sirloin or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being silly. A mega, Optimus will go be like a Alright Megatron. Let me bring the burritos. We can cook it. <laughs> uh, I'm just being silly. Um... <laughs> Uh, let me make some uh, show with articulation. Let's see if I can this one will be up. Okay. For articulation, the head go left, go right. Uh, it can look up a little bit, you detach it. <coughs> but uh, yeah, he don't go completely up. The the arms. Uh, they can go all around. That's very cool. But it's like a soft. It's no. It's not ratchet. It's soft. This one can go a little bit side like that. There you go. Soft ratchet. They have bicep swivel. They have elbow 
of a dad you need to put in some kind of pose exposing this see make it like that um they have wrist rotation a bit rough to do it but ah uh, there we go yeah he's still new i mean yeah <coughs> you had that very cool uh they don't have waste uh moment because you know it's everything detached Uh, if you move these little panels, the legs can go front, can go back. And nice ratchets. Well, if you move the whole thing. And they can go sideways, but it's not too much. like a soft ratchet. Has some clicks. Not too many. One very wide. I like got two clicks like this. There we go. After this point, he's completely loose. I had two clicks, very soft. Uh, has swivel in the bite in the in the legs over here. They have bending. Very cool. Soft ratchet. Uh, the toe. Can move a little bit down. There you go. Very cool. And this is the heels don't move because you had that one tap, but he have ankle movement. There you go. That's cool because if you have it like, like this, you can move this one like that, and that way you can put it in. Other position with the legs a little bit open. Let me show it to you. Oh. There you go. You see with the legs a little bit open. I got to compare with <laughs> the last night. Um, the looks Megatron. Uh, yeah. One well, of the different is. He is more shorter and a little bit more dark color. He's more light. I like the paint job of him. But yeah, that's the scale. Optimus of Prime from the last night. The Voyager class. And as you see, it's too short. But let me bring you something. You maybe go be like, oh, "Wow, yeah, they they downgrade the scale." Um, let me bring you with my dark Enegon. Megatron from. I need to put the camera a little bit more farther. There you go. There we go. Sorry for that. There we go. With my um from Transformers um Revenge of the Fallen my Asian exclusive Dark Enigon Megatron Little Class and yeah I have the new arms on him and yeah it's it's more like him it's more like a boy of her size and i really wish it be this side not that side still cool but i really wish that side and this is something i see with my with my new lights at first i'm thinking that purple is kind of mess up no it's it's nice <laughs> i'm happy Whew. always thinking maybe because my vision my vision is not too sharp. Now let me put the camera a little bit closer. There you go. Oh. Yeah, put it like 
this. There you go. And there you go. Oh, don't don't fail, don't fail. Cause you are no ma you are no you are no me. You, you, your your master is Joe. Don't fail. I don't want to you break. Okay, don't 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 fail. Don't fail. There you go. Uh what I can say about this Megatron. Mm. He's awesome. I like it. Uh, especially in vehicle mode. I, I like those attachments you can make like uh, he's flying the trust. I'm glad they put in that peg under because I'm thinking to get a Gundam base or all it kind of stand and see he can stand up because for me he looked much better in vehicle mode, I don't know, I, I really like him in vehicle mode. Road mode is, is cool, but I don't really that, like too much that side of the gun, the plasma cannon. Uh, yeah, I prefer the sleek plasma cannon in the in the Voyager. Um, yes, I know they had a gimmick of the flame, but mm, the mask is very cool, but I don't like that switching thing in the back. So we make it more easy. If they're making him regular little class, it may possibly go be much better. Maybe have uh, light and sounds or something like that. And that's gonna be really cool. But eh. uh, transformation is not difficult. It's just especially when you're trying to put him back in, in vehicle mode, in jet mode. Uh, his transformation is a little bit tricky, especially the back. Uh, you need to hold some area and try to tap this other area and squeeze everything together. And that way he stays solid. But when you have that, eh, you know, he stays. And for me, vehicle mode is the best. That's mean uh, my friends Joe find him in Target. That's mean yeah. Uh, a little bit hard to find around. I don't know now because the movie is already gone and um, maybe you can find it so you can still find it. Um, I'm going to Target and see if I can find him because I really like him and Thanks for watching uh, this video of the Transformer The Last Night Premiere Edition Little Class Megatron. And I need to thank again my friends Joe. Because like I, get, like I, I say again, this is his toy. And if he don't let me to borrow his toy like uh, other ones he let me to put in my video. This video cannot be done. As for me, thanks again. I appreciate it. You let me borrow your Megatron. And this is all for today. Uh, if you want to see more Transformers, Star Wars, and sci-fi toys in my collection, please click the subscribe button. Hit the little bell for new video notifications. Put a like, leave a comment, and that got to help me a lot. And like I always I say, enjoy your hobby and play with your toy collection. This is Anubis 009, and I see you to the next time.